The Trinity Tigers have a new man in charge, and it's a familiar face to the school and to South Texas. Jeremy Urban was an All-American stud receiver. He is simply on the Mount Rushmore of Trinity football, and he's here in studio to talk about his Tiger season. He is the pride of Victoria, Texas, and Trinity University. He's the prodigal son come home to the Trinity Tiger football team, the new head football coach at Trinity University, Jeremy Urban. Welcome to Sports Sunday. Well, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here, excited to be leading the Tigers, and we're ready to go. If I'd have told you 10, 15 years ago that this is where you'd be, you'd be the head coach at your alma mater, your reaction would have been what? I don't know. 10, 15 years ago, I was swimming. I was a first year at Trinity, and I didn't know what my future held. All I knew is I wanted to go get a good education and possibly be a high school football coach and, and help you know, young guys grow and play football like I did. So coaching, though, is, is something you had always targeted. It was kind of in your blood. Oh, absolutely. Uh, my dad, you know, he, he taught me a ton of football. He, I grew up, he was my flag football coach, and I saw how young guys kind of gravitated towards him on the football field. and. I just love the game of football, so I had to figure out a way to, to impact young guys and be around football, and coaching was a natural fit. Your story uh, at Trinity and the NFLs we'll get into, but you are following a real legend there at Trinity and Steve Moore. And for those who may not understand what this man did at Trinity, 24 years, yeah. he turned that program from basically a club sport and it, nothing short of an intramural uh, team into a legitimate football program and at times a division three powerhouse what's it like for you to follow him and, and he's a guy that obviously you played for yeah it's a great honor and obviously big shoes to fill um, after 24 years of establishing a tradition there and like you said when he got there it was footballs looked at differently on campus and he really in, instilled a sense of pride on the football team and those mid to late 90s early 2000s teams making deep runs in the playoffs you know, my senior year, we went 14 and one, played for the national championship. Those were great memories, and you know that's what we're striving to get back towards. And he's obviously left left a good foundation for us to build on. That is a school that is all about academics mm -hmm. first, uh, and we have a lot of coaches that we meet over the years at all levels, and they say academics, 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 and you know they're they're not telling the truth. Right. <laughs> um, and, and that's just not the way it is at a lot of places. Mm -hmm. It is that way at Trinity. So my question to you is, when a kid comes to you and says, Coach, I have a huge econ test tomorrow. I have a huge paper due. It's a 20-plus paper. We got practice. I can't do it. How do you talk to them about balancing football and academics where the emphasis is academics? Right. Well, first and foremost, we get after them pretty early on just about time management and, and really trying to stress that football is a great life lesson builder for them. You know, later in life, they're going to have a job, they're going to have a family, they're going to have to balance their time. And we want them to balance both. They come to Trinity to get a top-notch education, but they are, they're also coming to, to try to win conference championships and to become the best football players possible. So we talk to them about managing their time early on and being proactive. We have a great academic success program for our football pr players that um, one of our assistant coaches heads up with with several professors on campus and it's all about time management and nine times out of ten if a young man comes and, and he's behind the eight ball it's because he can ID that he wasn't efficient with his time. But again, they are student athletes first and at a school like Trinity we are very sensitive to that. You played nine years I believe in the NFL, yes. a couple of Super Bowls yep. uh, on your resume. How does that go over when you tell the kids, which I'm sure they know, but uh, what's their reaction? Well, I think the recruiting this spring, it's been good. Um, it br brings a little bit of legitimacy to, to me being a young coach. You know, I've been through some battles. I've played for a lot of legendary head coaches. And, and again, we've already established I wanted to be a coach growing up. And I sat in the back, and, and I looked at the, the team meetings as a way to learn. I take notes and listen to what the coaches said, and I pick the brains of my position coaches. Because I never knew when the NFL was going to end for me. Nine years is a blessing. It was something that you know, I went into it thinking, man, if I could just be able to practice squad a couple of years. And then... All of a sudden, nine years later, in two you know, conference championship rings, it, it was a great experience. But our guys at Trinity, they know me. They know that I love them, and we talk about that word, and it's not something that just gets thrown around. So I'd be there training a few years ago, and then I've been a coach now the last two years. This will be my third year at Trinity. So, so I think that from the recruiting side, it, it's brought some legitimacy, but our guys know that it's more than just that. And My last question yep. to you, you guys were 5-5, five and five, I believe, mm -hmm. last year. Five, six, seven wins, pretty good year at most universities. Your generation of football players at Trinity set the standard. You just said it, 14 and 1. Mm -hmm. 9, 10, 11, 12 games, yeah. that's almost a must. How do you get back to that level? 
Well, I think that it starts with these young guys taking some ownership, realizing that we can't just roll the football out there and beat Trinity University and win games. Um, there's a school up in Seguin that's doing some pretty good things right now, and Southwestern up in, th up, um, in Georgetown starting their football program. And we've got a very competitive conference now, so I think our guys are excited about that. We're predominantly Texas-based as far as our roster, and so are they. And a lot of kids know each other, so we're pretty excited about going out and competing and trying to get Trinity back on the map. It all starts September 6th against Absolutely. Howard Payne, and you got a pretty big game uh, in November, as mm -hmm. you said, against the team from Seguin and yeah. TLU. So yeah. good luck in, in Thanks, year David. one, and I have no doubt that we'll be talking to this man for the next 10, 20 25 years uh, at Trinity, and, and I would, would imagine that would be something that you would like, and I know the university would love that. Absolutely. We've made San Antonio home, and we hope to be there for a long time. Head football coach of the Trinity Tigers, the one and only Jeremy Urban.